Good morning, nerds, and welcome to the LARP house. This week we are starting off the month long celebration of Halloween, also known as LARPtober for us LARPers, because this is the most sacred month of the LARP calendar year. This week is dedicated to the unsung heroes of LARP, the alchemists and healers. This one's for you. That's right, we are about to show you some magical, edible scientific concoctions that you can bring to LARP and use to impress all the muggles. Okay, first off we have a white powder that changes color depending on what color you put in it. Once it hits the liquid, we use Sprite and that worked wonderfully. So first we have a teaspoon of citric acid, which we found in the canning aisle at Walmart, two teaspoons of baking soda, three tablespoons of powdered sugar to stomach it, and two teaspoons of the Kool-Aid or lemonade mix. More depending on how vibrant you want the color to be. And you just mix it all up and put it in a poison ring and go to town. <laughs> and I should also add that this is probably the most delicious potion on this video. Next we have boiling blood. It boils at a wave of your hand. <laughs> just kidding, it's a mento. This is great for creepy rituals in LARP or if you need to be like, I can boil your blood, watch me do it to this. <laughs> We have one tablespoon of Three King's Mouth Blood. This is a drinkable or edible blood. You shouldn't drink a ton of it, but you can ingest it, so any ingestible blood will do. We have Mint Mentos. I, the mint is just the kind we got. Don't know if other kinds will work. And about three-fourths cup Diet Coke. That's, that's pretty much the ratio that we're working with here. So... First, we're gonna measure off the Three Kings mouth blood. Ben Nye also makes a pretty good minty mouth blood. It's okay, but Three Kings is, is my favorite. It just tastes kind of sweet. And then the trick here is to put just a little bit of the Diet Coke in and mix that up so that you don't make the whole amount of Diet Coke flat when you stir it up. This makes it really easy for the color to distribute evenly throughout the entire mixture. So once you've done that, pour the rest of the diet coke in. And uh, the trick is to do it kind of quickly, as fast as possible, because you don't want the coke to go flat. Ta-da! Beautiful. <laughs> Next we have the wonderful, amazing, color-changing, purifying potion. It's absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing about it is it just takes a little bit of baking soda and it changes right back. Science. <laughs> what you will need is a cup of water, a little bit of baking soda, um, a little bit of lemon juice, which is what you see me pouring in to cause the reaction. And some sliced red cabbage. I mean, maybe some sugar if you don't want to drink cabbage juice with lemon in it. First thing you're going to want to do is prepare your lemon juice. Just gut some lemons over a strainer and, and set that aside. Then to get that beautiful purple juice, you're going to slice up your red cabbage. Stuff it in a blender. I put too much cabbage in here. We ended up taking some out, but pour your water over it. And, you know, summon the vortex. Then just pour it back into the cup over a strainer and you're left with this awesome cabbage pulp that you can use to make more juice later and the lovely purple juice. And then you just add the lemon juice to it to change the color. Add the baking soda to it to change it back. <laughs> and next we have necrotic acid, aptly named because it is largely lemon juice. <laughs> oh, but this is wonderful and foamy, so it'll actually look like it's dissolving things. And the foam actually kind of stays. Alright, so we've got lemon or lemon juice and baking soda, which is what you are watching me add in there, causes the reaction. We have powdered sugar to taste, green food dye, and Sprite, so it's kind of palatable. Okay, so get your lemon squeezes on and then 
put in put in the green food dye into your lemon juice just to make sure it looks as noxious as possible. Now, we are going to put Sprite into the cup. I was just praying that Sprite would make it taste better. You could use water if you wanted to though. And I'm using powdered sugar here because I wanted it to be a little bit cloudier. And if I used granulated sugar, it might have been clear. And here I'm adding the lime green lemon juice. And then, wait till you want the effect to happen. And spoon in exactly one fourth teaspoon. <laughs> because if you do any more... Oh my god. <laughs> this happens. So there you go. I propose a toast to healers and potion makers everywhere. May you always have the strength to deal with the idiots who run back into battle after having two limb wounds. And thank you for so many times literally saving us from being burned alive. This one's for you. So before we sign off this week, I have a couple updates for you. This is your last chance to submit questions to Thorin, the emo viking teenage princess, or Petra, the feral magical girl death knight. You can submit your questions in the comments below or through our Facebook page. And click here to find more out about each one. Secondly, I'd like to announce the official deadline for the submissions for your in-character interviews for our Meet the Characters Global Edition video. You have you until have midnight on the 1st of December! <laughs> The interview questions and submission guidelines can be found on a post pinned to the top of our Facebook page. Thirdly, I would like to draw your attention once more to our Patreon page and a new reward on the way. If half of our subscribers just pledged $2 a month, we would be able to travel all over the country and go to different LARPs and film them. If a little over half of our subscribers pledged $2 a month, we would be able to travel internationally and make costumes and props and bring them to the games for you guys. All you would have to do to be eligible would be to you can probably guess, pledge $2 or more on our Patreon page. It is a monthly subscription that you can cancel at any time. And I want to take a second to thank the patrons who have already pledged. Seriously, you guys rock. It is because of you that we have been able to do the cool stuff you saw today and make all the stuff on the Etsy store, so thank you so much. And always feel free to let us know what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. So that's it for this week, nerds. Tune in next week for more LARPtober Halloween celebrations. And as always, nerds, like us, subscribe to us, Fight with us. <laughs>